If you're interested in knowing how I made these stands, I have three separate videos showing how I did each one, giving you enough details for you to go ahead and make your own. Out of all the stands I've made, this is probably the simplest one to do, largely because the record power dust extractor isn't very heavy. So what I've done is I've built a triangular base. Um, this is for two reasons. One, because the bag as it fills up gets quite heavy and it does tend to pull down. So it supports the bottom of the bag, stops it from coming undone up there, which happens sometimes. Um, the triangular base is just long enough to span the distance of the legs. What I've done is I've put a little, little 90 degree, which I've just screwed to the wood, small pilot hole into the metal and put a metal tapping screw. It's all it needs. It's more than enough to hold this. On the bottom I've just used two locking casters. These are good ones, they, when you lock them, they stop the caster from moving side to side and also they lock the wheel. So they're very useful. Unfortunately, you could only buy these with two locking and two ordinary ones without locks. So I just used one. To finish it, I used some plastic spray paint just to paint it yellow, which matches the the theme of the equipment, the record power is always yellow and this sort of forest green. Most of their tools are like that. And then I added this which I thought was a good idea because this, as you can see here, the hose is constantly dragging on the floor and getting under feet. So this in fact is an old gutter bracket. I took down the gutters in my house and I had a lot of these old school brackets left. So I got rid of all the rust, got it back to the metal and sprayed it with the same stuff that I used down there. Which makes a lovely cradle just to drop the hose in so I can move it around and keep it up off the floor. So that's all there is to it really. Um, but I would definitely recommend doing something like this because these three-legged items are a real pain to move. They're always tipping over and I found also that the leg, one, one or, or at least two of the legs, would often get loose because they kept getting knocked and they're only held by a couple of screws at the top. Yeah, well you can't see it, but they're screwed from the inside of the drum into the top of the leg here. And it's a weakness, they just come loose and everything wobbles about. So now that they're all locked into place at the bottom, um, not going to have any problem with it. Good idea, easy to do. You could do it in an hour, hour and a half or something. If you can't find a bracket like this, all I've done here is two, two metal screws that I've drilled a small pilot hole and just tapped them in. They're self, actually, they're self tapping and just screwed them in. If you can't find that, you could use something like this and put a loop of fabric or the sort of thing that you use for strapping things down on your roof rack of your car, something like that, just make a loop, which is what I thought about first, and then you could just push it through the loop and it would just hang there, it would do the same thing. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed the video, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and if you need any questions answered, just leave me a comment.